Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. So today I have an unleavened banana nut muffin recipe for you. So first we're gonna start out with two sticks of melted butter. Then we're going to add some coconut sugar to it and mix it together. Now you can feel free to add brown sugar, regular gran granulated sugar, or whatever you prefer, but I prefer coconut sugar. I just like the natural um, taste of it. And then we're going to go ahead and add three eggs to the batter. Um, um, and then we're going to mix those in. So you wanna make sure that your butter is not hot or warm. You wanna make sure that it's cooled down, but usually adding it to the coconut sugar or the sugar in general and mixing it will cool it down. And next we're going to be adding all-purpose flour. It's going to be three cups of all-purpose flour. Then I add a tablespoon of ground cinnamon and a teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt. You can free, feel free to add whatever salt that you normally use. I go ahead and mix together the flour mixture and then I go ahead and add in the mashed bananas to it. It is four ripe bananas that I'm adding to the batter. I go ahead and add in my walnuts I add about a cup of walnuts but if you don't like walnuts you can feel free to add chocolate chips peanut butter you can add walnuts and chocolate chips whatever variety you prefer and I go ahead and add the batter to the muffin tins with some cupcake liners um, I go ahead and fill the muffin um, batter up to the top of the muffin cup. Um, it's not going to rise too much, just a little tiny bit because of course it doesn't have that leavening in it. And we're going to bake it at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 to 35 minutes and that will yield some amazing muffins. So let me know if you guys try this recipe and if you do, if you enjoyed it. And head over to my website, mrslnoble.com, for the full recipe. And again, I hope you guys enjoy. So I will talk to you guys later. Shalom. Skin to forget every little, little thing.